And welcome everybody to another amazing episode of the podcast that no one knows about but everyone loves. Yeah. The Morning After Pill Show. With me, Chris, and Victor. Hello. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, this episode of the podcast was uh, definitely an educational one. Informative, 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 like a motherfucker. We still got some laughs, but... We were we we got to hang out with uh, Neil Haley, who is a radio personality, entrepreneur, marketing genius. I guess that's genius. Genius is as, as me being nice, but it is not 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 too much of a stretch. The guy does know what he's talking about. He was it was very interesting having him on. As um, he would say, a man of a thousand hats. Yeah, he does. He does have a lot going on for him. Uh, you can find his website, Neil Haley, N E I L H A L E Y dot com. Uh, Check him out, he does a lot. Yeah, he does do a lot. He's the total tutor, so he does tutoring for kids. Which he, right now is a ideal time. Yeah, right now that is a, a really good time, especially with everybody homeschooling right now. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, it that. does. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Social media expert, branding PR specialist, IT professional. He was actually impressed that we were rigging the way we were rigging it for these because <laughs> i figured using that technology is easy for everybody like everybody knows how to use no. it no. no 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 not easy to do but easy it, I, I did it so it was easy for the guest yes all they do is accept the call that's they it. can sit on their phone that's it. And they don't have to download anything new that's why i did it that way you know what i mean they didn't have to that sign anything yeah that makes sense so i i, I did put that kind of thought into it so you know, it was exciting to see that. Uh, he does have a show, the Neil Haley Show, where he gets to interview various guests, various a celebrities. Lot of celebrities. Uh, he was a former wrestler, did some time in Germany, did get to hang out with some of those, so he does talk some stories about that. Uh, he has the Neil Haley Network, where he's actually, I, I want to say he's like producing other people's radio shows through his network. You yeah. can find that radio show, the Neil Haley Show, on several radio stations throughout the country. 20, 20 stations syndicated, I think you said. Yeah, 20 stations syndicated. He does work with NBC. Um, the guy's loaded. The guy's got a lot going on and has a day job. So this man and has a freaking day. And he's got kids. And he's got kids. I, I, don't, I don't know if he was joking, but he did say something about six kids. Yeah. <laughs> so. He has a basement. He does have a basement. He doesn't want to show anybody. <laughs> Yeah, he did this. He did this entire thing in his car. In his car, yeah, which was very nice. He wanted to go somewhere quiet. <laughs> Cars are very, very. Um, I, I think he was expecting it to be. Uh, I'm not sure how he how he was expecting our show to be. The name itself should tell you that yeah. it's shenanigans. But I, 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 it's smart that if he has six kids and a wife, that he doesn't <laughs> do an interview with us in his household. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, really cool guy, amazing person, uh, and and definitely an overall a good podcast. Um, but enough about that, Chris. What day is it? Yesterday when we did the episode, what day is uh, that in quarantine? That would be day five. We're on day five. No, that was day six. Day six. Today is day seven. We've been sitting in this uh, in no, this place yeah, for a week seven. together, only leaving for essential reasons. Stir crazy. Are you? No, I have I, video games. I can yeah. I can escape. It, it's really it really hasn't been that bad. I do like again. I feel bad for those that are like by themselves. Or all you do is have Stuck dogs. With people you can't stand. You start realizing how useless your pets are. You're like you really don't make anything. They do nothing. They do nothing. They do nothing. They eat They're shit. great to have Sleep. if you can leave the house every now and then. That's why I have cats. Yeah. Dogs, you always have to like take them outside and shit. I can like, I can leave and not have to worry about the cats other than but them probably breaking something. Yeah, but I'll take that over like having to clean like shit off the floor or something like that because, I mean, even though my cat's a dick, <laughs> he just pretty much does whatever he wants. It includes using the bathroom wherever he wants. <laughs> you got an attitude problem. <clears throat> however, however, uh, we still. Uh, we still got Quarantine Cast going on, guys. All those other podcasts that are on Quarantine Cast, if you follow us on our social medias. Check them out. Check them out. Um, 
know you have free time. Yeah, we really do. We really appreciate all the love we've been getting, too. I know. I better not hear anybody I know tell me, oh, I just haven't had time, bro. <laughs> like, if I hear that shit, I'm just going to... I'm just going to call bullshit right now. You then still and know your family isn't listening. All, all of our friends, they're not listening. They say they will. They say they are. They oh, I need to get caught up. There's and like a couple. Dude, my own brother's like, oh, I'm like way behind. I'm behind like, on what? It's a podcast. Just listen to the latest one. Yeah. Go later. I know your rituals, dude. You don't do much. Yeah. Just. Yeah, James. Take an hour. The people know who he is now, right? Yeah, they do, basically. <laughs> Hopefully. 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 Unless they're not caught up. <laughs> uh, no, we really had fun uh, recording with Neil. He was uh, definitely good to know. He taught us quite a bit. And fuck it, I mean, I'm always willing to take that even during. It almost seemed like he interviewed us. Yeah, <laughs> right. He, at, certain, at some points, like he was like kind of like he's he, like, "Who's he your had favorite comedian?" For us, yeah, he's which like, is, yeah, he's like, "Who's your favorite comedian? Who's your favorite podcast? Do you guys watch this?" Then we just talked about what we watch on TV. Yeah. Like we went from all of this information, we, and then like we covered a lot. We did cover I think a lot. We established a, a friendship. Yeah, absolutely. Because it was, it's not, it's what when, didn't go the way I expected. Right. One because we were okay. So okay, let's just start from the top. What exactly were you expecting? I don't know. I I was caught off guard with that whole thing because we were expecting. His client, right, and we got him, and then I was like, "Well, fuck, man!" Like, kind of killed like ninety percent of what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was like, was like what an hour, a couple hours before, yeah. And then I was like, "Well, shit!" So then we just started shooting the shit with him. Yeah, uh, it turns out he's a freaking amazing dude. Yeah, and he was a fan. He loved it. Yeah, we created a partnership right after that. So you guys get to hear how that happened. Again, this is all done through uh, through webcam. Uh, like he's on his phone, so yeah. some sound of the, uh, quality sound, sometimes a little. We are again quarantine rigged, so it is going to be a little different than what a typical podcast is. If you guys are listening to any new podcasts that are out there, we can't be the only ones doing that. Like some people are just doing call-ins. No, oh, yeah, dude, I think Jimmy Kimmel or somebody is doing like at-home interviews. Yeah, yeah. So Fuck it. Fuck will, it. Everyone else doing it. Everyone else doing it. We might as well get everyone in the else game. Doing it. I'll do it too. But uh, if you guys are listening to us on iTunes, don't forget to please subscribe. Subscribe. Give rate us, us five stars. Five stars. Thank you. It. Thank you for those. We have gone up quite a bit. Give us six. Give us six stars. Six stars. That doesn't mean five and then one later. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah, that's fucked up. Don't do that. Just do five a bunch of times. Do five six times. There, there you go. go. Yeah. So give us 30 stars. <laughs> Nice. You're still doing it. Dude, the math thing, right? Your math. It's like two days in a row now. I know. I know that's an easy one, but for you. That was quick. Yeah, for you, that was quick. Yeah. I can do math. (laughs) I don't prefer it, but I can do math. It's like a hidden skill. Yeah. Must be all those video games. Probably. Yeah. It's like codes I have to remember. Speaking of math, uh, people should really go to manscaped <laughs> what does that have to do with math <laughs> to get 20 percent off <laughs> with our promo code he's right know. though i was reaching for that you were re- you were reaching it, real you hard let me finish <laughs> if you would have waited 30 more seconds you would have realized what the math was there no the- i saw it i saw it happen <laughs> i just I did couldn't. it yeah slow as fuck for you. I, I saw it happen i just couldn't help myself <laughs> he's right though guys you do save 20 percent off on the lawnmower 3.0, there is a there's a bundle that you can get right now. Uh, total value we looked at was like 160. You can get 20 percent off of that right now. You get this lawnmower 3.0. Chris here in his hands, not the balls, but he has what is that? The toner. This is the ball deodorant. Ball deodorant, which does smell amazing, by the way. And I shouldn't have smelled George. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on my hand first. Oh, okay, good you, job. you apply that by hand, but that one don't put to your face. Uh, oh, that is the ball toner, which is technically it, it does also smell good. It's like a definitely like a body spray just for the the nether regions. It is refreshing. It is it is nice to have. It really is. It's like a pH balance control type thing. It's it's amazing. Um, it feels like a cool spring breeze on my nuts when I spray it on. So, there. gentlemen, I know quarantine is going on, and for some of you that are stuck. At home with your ladies, take care of those balls. Yeah. You, you really do need to take care of those balls. For that lawnmower real. 3.0, you can do it discreetly because you're stuck at home and you're not going to be able to just. You can't tell. You can't tell your significant Look, other that you don't have time to. It's, it's on right now. You have time to manscape now. That's not very loud. And the thing is, it's safe. You can do it in the shower. 
And, Waterproof. Um, let's just say the biggest, the biggest thing about this. It looks bigger. And come on. Like instantly. Like no pill, nothing like that. It just looks bigger. Your performance will probably be the same, but you'll definitely go in with more confidence. I, know, and I, feel, ladies like, I feel like if you're going in with like good smelling balls and you feel fresh, your performance I think, will I think go you're up, just right? Gonna, I think you're going to lay into it. Yeah. Yeah. You're just going in big dick energy. Yeah. You're just going to, you know. So that's manscapes.com. Trying to push your head through the headboard, whatever. <laughs> it's manscaped.com. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you finished that part. <laughs> Go to Manscape. Type in the promo code MAPS. Get twenty percent off your entire purchase. Personal. Yeah, MAPS M A P S on the promo code, and get your twenty percent. Get it, your balls right. Yes, get your balls right. It's definitely worth right. it. Now, now on to the rest of the plugs. Don't forget our merchandise is still on the MorningAfterPillShow dot com. Chris and I are in the works of trying to do some sort of. Uh, some sort of support for everything that's going on right now. So definitely gonna try and support uh, other comedians locally. So that too. I, I was kind of going more towards like a, a regional food bank, something like that. So, yes, uh, we can donate. Giving, giving us support, even though we need it. We're working on the donation. So every time you purchase one of our items from our shop, a portion of that's gonna go to help anybody who's clearly struggling or suffering from. <laughs> The entire yeah. global lockdown. Yeah. So, it's 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 tough, and we need just as much help as you. But we still, if we have the ability to, we will do something. So we're gonna help all we can. Yeah. We're not the only ones in this. So enough of that. You guys are gonna follow l- us on social media. You guys are gonna do. <laughs> you're gonna live, laugh, and love <laughs> at, at this episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, Neil Haley. Enjoy. Thank you. Definitely somebody that's stuck in somebody's basement for a while. Are you sure it's your basement? <laughs> no, I've been locked in my house except the, the grocery store, man. I mean, we're yeah. Just saying, we're saying we self-quarantine for, I mean, like, we're, we're, we're supposed to be in the house. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the law right now. I'm supposed to be in the house. That's really? true. You get fined, don't you? No, we don't get fined. But, I mean, like they say, you should go to the grocery store when you need it or something else, but don't go out any other time. Unless you're getting food or something else, it's just crazy. And then they, they everyone breaks the rules. Our country can't do what these goofball, uh, no rights countries do. I mean, yeah. seriously, Europe they don't really have rights. Truly, when I was in Germany, the police could just take you and put you in jail. But they didn't like that here. If no. You, you know, no reason. Or so, some places. Yeah. <laughs> Let's 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 get started with. Uh, we got to learn a little bit about you just like a couple hours ago. Um, you know, introducing yourself, and I do appreciate that. But why don't uh, right now just tell us a little bit about you? Uh, we'll get that out of the way, and then you can bullshit with us for a little for a little while. Okay, okay so that's how the show works. Well, uh, well, you know, um, I, I know you guys are comedy guys, so I'm ready for whatever. Fuck yeah! <laughs> so I, I I wear 52 hats, but I don't have any hair. So basically. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you go. saw me, but see, you see, you see the gray beard, and you're mm-hmm. like, well, "Who's this dude?" And if you look at pictures, my wife's really like, "Why are you growing this?" I'm growing a Corona beard. I would love to have the size of the beard of Ben Roethlisberger. If you've right. seen what Ben, Big Ben's beard is now, that's what I'm shooting for. If that's that, super that, manly. The God, it doesn't end up happening that way because uh, we will be in Corona getting for a lot longer but all right so basically i own a a digital marketing tech company i also have a tutoring and consulting business national syndicated radio show 150 plus stations terrestrial internet and podcasting podcasting is the newest uh genre in so many ways so i just reached my 10th year anniversary and had done about six thousand shows so i've interviewed major celebrities in different ways and different things i mean i had someone from the walking dead as you saw yeah yeah and and last week i had uh, putty from Seinfeld on mm-hmm. and a couple others. So it celebrities come and go, you know, but I they also do. do uh, clients. I produce other client stuff on internet radio station, VIP internet radio. So I wear a thousand hats and I work all the time. So you're catching me at a work time, uh, a work night. <laughs> and then I also have a full-time job, but I don't know if that job's going to last. Not because I don't want to quit it, but if this Corona getting goes too long, I could be laid off for a bit. Oh, yeah, we've I, already... I work for a company called Lensec, which is a video management software. 
They're out of Houston, Texas, but I do inside sales for them. Someone that nice. works there from San Antonio, Marcial. I see I'm saying because you guys live in San Antonio, you know Marcial. Hey, yeah. He sees somebody in San Antonio, but that's kind of <laughs> like saying, hey, do you know someone in Pittsburgh named Bob? No, it's not no. gonna work. So you know, I do know him though. Uh, I know no, him. No, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. In San Antonio, so, it happens I, way I, too I, often. I got Houston. I've worked for the company for about a year and one month. I mean, three months, and I've been in Houston twice for winter conference uh, in December. So okay, so I'm the familiarity of Texas. You guys are crazy in Texas, and uh, they don't want to shut down your state yet, do they? Really? No, they're doing it. Really. They're doing it oh, tonight yeah, they're already at doing midnight. It. They're they're laying down the law. Yeah, at eleven fifty nine tonight, the curfew goes into effect. No one's going to be out past like ten o'clock, and uh, you do oh, get wow. a fine. You get a fine if you're yeah. out there. If you're yeah. out and about for no essential reasons, you get a fine. Yeah. Really? So they're not. So they okay because our grocery store is closed today. I guess there's nothing really to do in Pittsburgh after that. I think that they. Uh, but yeah. So well, they, all the ones so here, even Walmart, Walmart closes Walmart at like eight thirty here. Years. And I was a former professional wrestler. So I gave you all my pretty much gist. I wrestled uh, in uh, overseas, wrestled all over the all over the world, but yet didn't make WWE or WCW when back in the day and all that stuff. So, uh, I, um, and I'm a former teacher. So I have a, I wear a lot of hats. Yeah, you're the total uh, so tutor, I, by the I, way. I, I, yeah, total tutor. Is, I keep that gimmick. The way I started my radio show, gimmick. it was an educational show. Yeah. It became far more an education and I love radio, television, all those different deals. It's just uh, it's it's a passion of mine, and uh, uh, I enjoy it. I wish you could pay me all of what I make my money wise, but uh, I'll do a radio show till the day I die. And that's that's. It's, I hope podcasters don't do this. Do it for the love of it, but yes, also do it to try to make money. And the thing that they need to understand is they got to be out of the box. They got to come up with ideas. And ultimately, they shouldn't look at who, what other people are doing. They should do what they want to do and be themselves and stay the course because there's going to be a lot of quitters. As we all know, the Twitter quitters, there's going to be podcast quitters. And just because you're seeing the growth of podcasting growing to this level, it's going to it's going to get it finally hit its peak, kind of like the coronavirus. <laughs> yep. yeah. Especially if they lose jobs and they have to go out and make money, they're going to say, okay, what's the first thing to go podcasting? You know, I, yeah. I'm just, like you said, it's just like writing or whatever. But uh, that, yeah, I guess I, if, I guess I got started what I do, but I wear a thousand different hats and trying to just uh, survive this coronavirus. Meaning, if I lose my job, if I lose clients, but I'm busy as hell right now. And it's good. It's good. <laughs> I mean, everyone else, some people are not working at all. Well, don't lose terrible. your health either. We're, we're, we're definitely in that. Is, we are definitely in that book. Because if you look at this, just because this is deadly and no one knows what it is, but if you look at other uh, diseases before the Spanish flu in the 20s, 1920s, or 1918, because I have a client who's 80 that told me about the Spanish flu, this was the last time it destroyed our country. And that's, uh, but that one killed so, I think a million, no, it was a, it was a ton of people. It was and they didn't have a 2.5 million, they, um, I think. Uh, yeah, something like that. Two point five million in nineteen eighteen. So this is this is again to get Trump out of office, in my opinion. And I also believe that this is man made. This is not something that came uh, from just a specific virus coming out of somewhere. And this was a this bat to came out of a bat. Yeah, somebody Ozzy Osbourne in the whole fucking situation and oh, yeah. jobs. So the bat thing is true. So what I would do is shut China out completely. If we find out China was involved. Then we just find another place to manufacture, and let's just completely just boycott them. Like let's maybe here, like maybe maybe again. bring manufacturing back here, where you know yeah. since the the entire country yeah, has been basically closed. For business owners and lower the taxes for business owners so that they don't want to go to China, they don't want to go overseas, they don't want to do certain things. Don't overtax them so they don't want to be here. You know, because well, it's easier that way because someone's got to make money off of somebody. Right, but and then just uh, leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll be surprised if this coronavirus thing does last that long because anything that comes from China usually just breaks pretty quickly anyway. So we'll just try to. I'm we'll try to. <laughs> it's gonna have I'm a month long shelf life. Yeah. I'm predicting probably. I'm thinking. Oh, what what did my doctor client say? He's he does um he and he told me, he's he said to me when we were talking. 
he said it's going to be in May, it's going to flatline, and by August, it's going to be gone. That's yeah, but from what I from what I understand though is uh, it'll go away, but just like the flu, like a flu season, it's, it'll, it, it'll probably come back. Yeah, yeah. But so hopefully we have something. Be. Yeah, hopefully so we have I'm a playing. fucking vaccine. Well, what if we get another one? We're just going to shut down sports again. We're going to shut down life again. You know? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. It's we're super easy. We just got to just Gordon tell Ramsey everyone they have sure. to close. Just shut it down. You guys aren't doing it right. Wash your fucking hands. We told we're you already. We're going to have to go look at the. TED Talk, Bill Gates put up. That's also if you check the Bill Gates conspiracies, he wanted to kill off certain people. Are you talking about overpopulated? You're talking about 2015, back. right? Yeah. The yeah. the presentation did in 2015 where he talks about the only the the biggest the the biggest threat to America is a pandemic because Correct. there's no money going towards like that scientific field or anything like that. They're all pumping it to military and and you know self defense. But no one's really looking at what happens if we get a viral outbreak or yeah, a viral attack or anything war. like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. And, and, and don't for forget, sure. you, you need you need to supply cocaine and underage women and yeah. all of that stuff for those folks. Yeah, those are important features. Drug dealers don't, don't, don't take time off. Things. That's just a given. Here, here, true. Here's the point. Here's my point, and you, and you guys will agree with me on this. If with say this, God forbid, the whole 2020 is gone, and we don't go back to work to 2021. We're going to have so much crime. We're going to have so much unemployment, and there's going to be so many killings. It's going to triple. Oh like yeah. Going to run the virus Riots. To we're not even going to worry about the virus anymore. After a right. while, so it might not even be about that's that. That's the point. So even if you don't like Donald Trump, by him saying here's the date, he's the first that's not putting us in the dark. Meaning everybody else is is keeping us on edge. When are we going to go back to work? He said to he said today Easter. I think he's out of. He's crazy to think they're going to be back by Easter, but at least he's calming the people down because there's such uncertainty, saying, here's the date we're shooting for. Yeah, nobody knows and anything. Hope, no one knows anything. No one knows anything. By going uncertain, you know, and just lets us so just, – just think of it. We're, like, in our house doing absolutely nothing but eating, watching television, streaming things. There's no sports. There's no entertainment. You can't play outside. There's podcasting. Oh God, that's the, that's dangerous. You guys start doing that twenty four seven. If I'm out of work, twenty four seven. I'll be going live, and I'll let my beard grow even larger, longer. But that's the point. That's the point. I don't get it, and that's my biggest issue is uncertainty. There's, I'm thinking uncertainty. Yeah. There's there's so much. There's so many like conspiracies or like things out there that like me and Victor were talking about the other day like no matter where you go or what you read it's always like seems to be split 50 50 you have people that are like it's really not that serious then you have people that are like it's fucking life threatening everyone's gonna die exactly. and then you have like and then there's just that like you said there's that certain level of uncertainty where I think 90% of everybody is sitting right now because <clears throat> the other 10% are causing everybody all these troubles and worries but there's 90 percent of us that are just sitting back like all right well i guess we'll just wait i guess we'll just wait it out see what happens it's like right. the first time ever we've kind of just been like what if we just ignore it for a little while maybe it'll go away yeah like how like we i feel like we're just like super content with what's going on right now i know like yeah. i feel like everyone's just like fuck it extra long vacation we could be a little no, bit no, more see, concerned see, that's people that work if you're not sure yeah. fuck that oh uh, yeah well or if you're in the service industry you're fucked yeah, it, oh yeah, you're completely fucked. No, yeah, no. Again, but you can probably get unemployment and get certain much or get these checks to come through. And I'm going to get paid because I have six kids and I am married. So if this does pass, I get the most money. Yep. And I, but again, I'm not suffering at all right now. Government don't hear that. I'm no. not, and I'm glad you extended the taxes to July 15th. I'm not suffering. I'm busy as hell. And it's because everyone's online. But at the end of the day, if you're an entrepreneur and you put your dreams and hopes and everything, and you're especially rushed on in tears, people owning businesses that thought never things would ever happen to them, they it, it makes you really say, can you niche anymore? Can you just decide to put all your eggs in one basket? Because that basket could disappear, and what the hell are you going to do next? I, I, yeah, there's a lot of people that are struggling with that right now. Anybody that put their whole entire life savings into open up any kind of store or shop or anything, oh god, are exactly. are just dying right now. They're just everyone's and dying. We can't, we can't let it go any further. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be the jackass in this way. 
Fuck let's yeah. open up. Let's go April 1st. Let's go. Fool's Day. Let's all go out and back to work. And we keep the kids at home. But here's the problem. We keep the damn kids at home. Who's going to teach them? Me. Call me. I'll go <laughs> and take care of it. Are you plugging we'll yourself, sir? I was, I was like the you, most you shameless ahead, plug put, ever. Put, <laughs> I know. <laughs> go ahead. Put the 30 kids, you know. It's uh, neilhaley.com, by the way. Total Neil Haley. <laughs> just just throw that out there. Do whatever. No, he, put, 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 um, have me run these different things. Honestly, uh, I think what we've learned from this, if we're talking kids, here's the funny thing. My kids are getting all this work for my district, okay? But guess what? There's The city of Pittsburgh hasn't sent any work to their kids yet and probably aren't going to force them to do any work. So they're home for six freaking weeks and do nothing. They're supposed to go back April 15th. That's their that's their start date back, which we Shit. already were told Mar- May, May 1st, our school district. So just close the school. It's done for the year. But the point I'm making is go back to work. Where are the kids going to go now? So you, and again, and what research has shown by closing the schools down, we're not going to bring the viruses everywhere else if these kids are not getting it. Some are. It's just very difficult to look at researching Europe. Here's my problem. It's like comparing us in education. Well, we're ranked 132nd in math and 121 in English, whatever, this whole push about. That's our language. Yeah, but guess what? (laughs) We test everyone for our tests compared to them where they only test the brightest. So we have stupid politicians, dumbass politicians, that want to get paid and have power, and they are deciding our future. Okay, there's governors. This is the biggest problem. There's no the way we have the checks and balances of our system where you have the states have as much power as the federal government. Other countries, India, they shut India down. That's a billion people shut down for three weeks. No one goes out of the country and everyone. Oh, dude, yeah, I haven't received a fucking. One I, phone I haven't call received about one phone warranty, call right? about like some Nigerian prince or anything at all. Yeah. This entire it's been kind of quiet on my emails and those uh, harassing phone calls. But see, the reason why those harassing phone calls are because Americans are hiring Indians and hiring uh, Filipinos and hiring Africans to call for us because that's the biggest thing. This got to outsource. On Facebook, there's, there's no advertising. No company right now. Everyone's hurting. But the point oh, yeah. making, so guys. We're, or what would you rather do? Let's just say, what what jobs do you guys have? Uh, we worked in the service industry, so we're currently podcasters 100% of the time now. Stand-up comedy? Oh, all officially. Sh- Stand-up comedy, <laughs> all shows canceled, yep. everything. I mean... Our, our, entire, our entire life is basically on hold right now because of this, except for, except for the podcast. Yeah. That's literally the only consistency we had before or after... This entire virus outbreak okay. thing. So, so what in the search and service industry were you doing? Uh, I was a bartender. He was a he was a server. Okay, so you made we all worked, the money. And then, and we then worked. Got all the chicks. You made all the money, got all the chicks, and then he got sides. Uh, no, well, actually, I think it was kind of revolve reversal, really. Yeah, I think we made about the same, but he always got the chicks. He did bring home some of the food, though. I did. Yeah, I did. I'd always <laughs> sneak something. The bartender is the one that's the per- that makes more money than the server. Wrong. Uh, not where we were at. No, not necessarily. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not even about that. It's how well you are with the people, honestly. And, and uh, by listening to our podcast, you think we were terrible people. However, <laughs> we uh, we always no, managed. So, so, so the restaurant's gone, or uh, we more? worked. We worked actually for a locally owned and operated restaurant where they only had two locations. And once this all came through, they basically closed both both down. They closed one of them down 100%, and they're only doing deliveries out of the other one at the moment. Uh, so what about when it comes back? You're back to work. We yeah. should be. We yeah. should be. But here's my thing. What happened? All right, so there's only two things that's going to happen after we go back to work, right? Either A, everyone spent all their fucking money, so they're not going to do anything. They're just going to work as much no. as possible. They're not going to have free time, and they're not going to want to go out and spend money. Or two, everyone's going to be like, I'm – fucking tired of being at home so let's go anywhere and everywhere and blow a bunch of money but in the service industry you you i mean that's those are the really the only two options you have for making money so either people are going to stay home or they're going to come out like you know now people like before this ever happened people like you know they set a day a week to go out or they did whatever they go and have like a quick drink for lunch or for dinner or whatever now with the virus when all this is over and everyone's been out of work for however long 
what do you think people are gonna do? I think I think no, so. That's that, that's a prediction. What, that's fucking so terrifying. Guys, uh, I got a way for you guys to make money. Uh, my I was talking to one of my clients, and he do, he does Xbox and all that different stuff. Oh. He does all these events. Okay, he did Xbox for him. He's out in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and he had to cancel both his events and a big bar event. And he said DJs are making money now by people paying them the cash app. So you guys should do comedy online and just ask people to cash app you money for for for, for entertainment. I see why you have a thousand hats. <laughs> that's, 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 that's two heads, and we haven't even thought about that yet. Well, you've been, so we've only been using one of them. <laughs> you do a comedy deal, and you ask for tips, and if, they get, if you had a thousand people online gave you a dollar, you made a thousand bucks. That's very true. Yeah. Very true. So I just gave you an idea. We can, we can even bring people on. I like the way can, this guy thinks. We can even bring people, bring other comedians on and have them go at it. Yeah, that's we true. give them that cash app. Give them the little throw up, the little cash app thing up there exactly, for their name. Exactly. But use it through your podcast as a way to kind of build it and, and go. And this. guys, hit me up with a doll, uh, dollar sign total tutor cash app if I give you a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, no, I was watching today. So speaking of something, and I love this conversation. This is like having a few beers. Pretty so much, man. We I are having a couple beers, actually. Year, if I have a job, you guys are gonna have to, you're gonna have to come see me in Houston. Oh, we'll, we'll do a live. We'll do a live podcast with you and everything out in Houston. Or okay, if we're doing, so or if awesome. we're back in, if we're back working and we can get a comedy gig out there, you're more than likely we'll we'll meet up for sure. Yeah, I need to re I need to represent you, and when the comedy season goes back, I have different entertainers and stuff. So here's the deal. What I was saying is that there was enough. I was watching Facebook last night. Okay, God. The oh, rabbit hole. One guy. These two. These two. I got two stories on Facebook. One is this lady and this guy were on on the line and having people beg for money that were hurting, and he kept. They kept sending cash apps, hundred, five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. I was like, what? And they had a ton of people streaming. Who knows how the hell they got that money, first of all. But then also, did you see that guy, Beezy? He's crazy. The one guy that had a stripper, not strippers on, but he had, I got. I think it's Beezy or something. Somebody streamed that deal too. I saw that thing on Facebook as well. These are crazy stuff, but people have money. This is how you got to make money. You yeah. can make money online now, and that's it. If your guys are funny as comedians, but I don't know if you're damn funny yet, so I'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. We're not just going to give it away. Yeah, you know. this is <laughs> no, our first. Exactly. Neil, Neil, exactly. this is just our first date. Like we're just going to kiss you on the cheek at the end of the night, yeah. and then you know, hope pray for a second time. Get me some shots. So at least. Yeah. Hope is, are you a dual comedians? Both of you together go on stage? No, no. He he's uh, we we both do stand up, uh, but we do the podcast together. You can uh, look at you can look at doing the podcast live as kind of a dual situation, but uh, we haven't gotten there yet. We have written, we were like we, we, we were like this planned. close, Neil, like this close to getting a live podcast thing set up, like an actual live inside of a, of some place where we could have like actual interaction with a bunch of people, and then um, someone ate a bat. Yeah, so you that can't happened. Trust you can't trust these people, and they all are jealous. <laughs> trust you. Do you get things done? They start getting jealous of you. I start. I got talk to these people like, oh, I'm gonna go with this guy. He said he ain't shit. I don't want to tell him that, but he ain't shit. <laughs> well, he, he told them now. Go with, sure, goodbye, goodbye. You don't like. It cracks me up. Like I give people things free. Like, hey, you come on my internet radio station. I'll help doing some plugs. Just hook me up sometimes. And then they go and say, you didn't do shit for me. I'm like, what? I did. I did all this work for you. What did you do for me? And that's the problem. People it's like I showed up. <laughs> They, pe people just promise the world, and then guess what? They do nothing. I sit on these calls for hours. Yeah, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm like, okay. Let's think about the first thing first, gosh darn it. Don't think about the other stuff. Let's do this first. You, how, how many of you know those kind of people? You get yeah. on the phone, they have 55 ideas, and then they don't even know how to implement one. This is very true. We implemented our podcast just by literally going, we should do this. Yeah. And then we did it. Over a joint. Over a joint. Wow. It brings the world yeah, together. So, so, <laughs> that, you know what? And, and again, it's not bad now because guess what? Have they legalized it in Texas yet? No. 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 Bastards. That, so no. Guys, what the hell are you in Texas for? They decriminalized it because we can't afford to live anywhere else right now. Yeah, dude. Property. I'm originally from I'm originally from Colorado, so. Okay. Yeah, dude. Cost and of living here is immaculate. 
Texas. He's from he's I'm from, from Texas. I'm from here in San Antonio. You know, everybody funny? here I looks like your, this, but I don't see the guy I hooked. Uh, that you know, you probably would have liked Rob. Now I'm starting to think you might have been okay with Rob if you were to treat him with respect. I he kind of told me because my client Rob was going to come on. Yeah, and he is a conspiracist and he's an interesting cat. But mm-hmm. I thought you were going to just make fun of him the whole time. I said, I oh no, 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 we 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 will poke fun and we'll have fun, but in all reality, like I mean, we can't bash somebody for having an idea or having a theory. Uh, no, we we could, there. but but out of out of respect, we wouldn't do it the first time we met him. Like we don't trust Kanye's ideas, but if we had like an actual like somebody with some like legit conspiracy theories, that makes oh sense. Oh my gosh, his oh. his is awesome, especially the Georgia Guidestones. So I'll wow. get him on him. Yeah. Oh yeah, Georgia I would Guide love it. Yeah, yeah. So he uh, he 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 goes deep, and he does, you couldn't get a word in edgewise. But I don't know if you'd be able to figure out this whole. The, you know, a lot of people don't understand. You can go on Messenger and video. Really, they don't. Huh. They don't have technology. I'm 47. And I understand it. So how right. old are you guys? 32, 36. Okay, and you'll be podcasting here when I'm 57. Yeah, I still got my radio show. I'm yeah, here. we're still yeah. doing the damn same thing. I'll be happy to. That's that's what I'd like to do. We finally yeah. found something that we're good at, it's, and it's, it's, we it's enjoy. A, it's addictive. So, like talking about professional wrestling. I'm glad I had to finally just walk away and never do it again when I was in Bremen, Germany. But it's the most addicting thing in the world. Actually, our f- anytime you perform. Our yeah. first guest was a, he's a friend of ours. He's a local wrestler. He actually travels. Uh, what yeah, is he just come back, TWA, he just came back from right? Mexico. Yeah, he went and trained with the Luchadors. Yeah. yeah. And okay. he was telling me some some interesting stories about, it's you know how they like to play soccer? Well, they, that's pretty racist to me, but I'm one of them. They like to play soccer and drink, and that's what they were doing over there. They would just get drunk and do these flips, and that's where they come up with some of their craziest stuff is just get drunk, scream, and jump. And, like, okay. Leap of faith. Yeah, Leap but of the faith. luchas back in the day in WCW, if you ever heard some of these wrestling podcasts and stories of what how they party. Yeah. When we were wrestler. When I was a wrestler, we party. I These imagine. guys just play Xbox now. They're, they're, we also you know, we also know about ring rats, rats, by the I, way. I, I What'd you say? So ring we rats. also well aware of ring rats. Ring rats! I can tell you the story. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Those days were very my Look gosh. at that! Look at <laughs> that digital twinkle in his eye. <laughs> He just like instantly had a flashback to every ring rat ever. Some of the smells even no, came back too. No, I didn't think it was the best ones, like those WWF stars. Have you ever heard some of the stories? Uh, Duke Drosy needs to come on your guys' show. He would be so funny. Duke the Dumpster okay. Drosy is one of my clients. He's a funny cat, but he has some stories about ring rats because he was lucky, man. He was just that term. Punch. That term is so, just, you know, getting, just sounds dirty. Girls with Shawn Michaels wanted. And he got the girl that Michaels wanted. You know they were pretty hot. Fun. Yes. Yeah. Shawn Michaels, the girl. I, and he's a I've San met Antonio guy. Old yeah. Shawn Michaels. I, I've met him. I've had a few conversations with him. I've waited tables on him. He went to my elementary school. Apparently, I went to uh, I went to school like all the way up to high school with his nephew. And uh, really? you know, I occasionally would run into him and to Shawn Michaels and coolest guy ever. Um, right. Could tip better. The boys um, like <laughs> What's that? So he was part of the clique, but the boys that weren't part of the clique didn't like him that much. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much. There's always yeah, that kind of like, high school shit. Paid oh, yeah. The, the fans are what paid him, you know. And the wrestling business, you know, even though I'm 47, I can walk in right now and still get over more than some of these guys today. This is <laughs> crazy do guys that look like you guys and going for wrestling. I'm like, what the hell? Back in the day, these guys. Were I don't know if I should be offended or flattered, but I have a, I have a, I have a wrestler's body. I'm a legitimate <laughs> six nine and a half, six ten, and I uh, probably shrunk some a little older, but oh, you are I not I was seven short. quarter, and I was about three twenty when I was a wrestler. So I look like somebody who walked down the street and said, "Who the hell? Wow, I don't normally see that guy." Now, when you see guys like Kevin Owens getting a push in wrestling, you're like, "That guy looks like he's someone that just." He doesn't look like a wrestler. He was a walk-on. <laughs> just, just a dude he's from the stand. <laughs> he's Rudy, then. Yeah, he's pretty Rudy, much. Then. Yeah, that works. Rudy. Rudy. I interviewed Rudy, by the way, the original Rudy. Did you really? How'd that go? Like the yeah. original Rudy? 
Yeah, like the, the real Rudy. Rudy. You're not talking about fucking like the actor who yeah. played him or the no. actual no, Rudy. No, I one interview Sean asked, and it's not happened yet. Been working on it. He ignores me. Yeah, he does the same thing to me too. I'll tell you what. I kind of wish that I would have. And you're gonna diss me, Sean? I've had Stone Cold Steve Austin on my show. I saw that. He's a Texas boy. (laughs) And I interviewed Triple H this year. Come on, but I work with NBC. That's why. Now, now Triple H is like the owner, isn't he, of one of the lines now? Something, yeah. One of the wrestling things now. He was very smart. Whoever his father was told him, son. Find a woman that's in a high power position, marry into the family, and you're going to make a lot of money. Fuck your and way up the ladder. He was gone. He was oh, that son bitch was like, check, check, <laughs> check. You'd be so proud of me, story. Dad. One of my clients, one of my clients is Sean Stasiak. He wrestled his meat back in the WWE uh, back in the day. Whoa. Uh, that's Stasiak. old. Yeah. That's old. Yeah, Stasiak. Stasiak said he was, uh, he was working out. And checking out Steffi McMahon, and he's like, maybe, what should I do? And I said, Sean, you missed your chance. Because he said, Triple H, that big nose, I'm a good-looking guy. Triple H isn't. I should have done that. Then I would be on the end the story. That's a Sean <laughs> But I don't think I should be telling that story, because that was on, I'm not on a show. He told me don't that. worry. No, yeah, one, listens no one listens to us. To us. <laughs> We think, probably this will probably hit about fifty people. Yeah, we're like uh, what we're, is it? We're like white noise. Yeah, basically. we're well within the quarantine area too. Well, I mean, I think no. you guys are. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I don't. I think that you guys have good questions. So don't put yourself like that. Oh, we're you never just. Know. We we're just fucking around. Yeah, we, we shoot we, for the we shoot we for the sky. We definitely don't feel that way. We're fucking. We're <laughs> hilarious. We're awesome. Most of the time, we're good looking. I think we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, I don't know about this. And you can't angle. smell my breath on the on on a podcast. So fuck yeah. Or my balls. So what's the format? There's no format. This is there. Fuck uh, no. No, it's just a, it's a Hell comedy no. podcast. We just riff on each other 90 percent of the time when we riff on guests or news stories or it's just it's it's an open discussion kind of platform. Sometimes I we like do a that. little. I, yeah, sometimes I like we do that. a little devil's advocate. Like I may I may dis, I may actually agree with him or our guest, but I'll just kind of what about this? Or what yeah, about he likes that? to he likes to get me to he likes to get me to react. Yeah, I like making reactions. Yeah, that's it. what you know. That's what works, it. and and it makes me feel All right, better favorite too. Podcast, which you guys listen to? Who's your favorite podcast? I really like. I'm a huge fan of the Tom. Yeah, he doesn't listen to any. Actually. I don't even listen to podcasts. But I, I'm a fan of like Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer. You know, they're comedians. Burt Kreischer tells amazing okay. stories. Um. You know, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson actually does a pretty decent podcast. He actually does. No, see, that's one I will listen yeah. to. Uh, he's got Star Talk. Okay. Um, other than so that, favorite comedian, favorite comedians of all time. You first. Favorite comedians of all time, Richard Pryor. That was the first okay. tape. That was the first I like tape I ever had in my life. That was the first tape I bought okay. as a child. Uh, Dave okay. Chappelle, uh, Carlin, Dana Carvey. I interviewed Robert Townsend. Whoa! Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was about a short interview promoting the one deal he had out a couple of years ago. I was working with this one tour one time where I'm like on one of one of 20 radio stations and I lucked out interviewing Robert Townsend. But uh, I've interviewed Marlon Wayans. I've interviewed. Uh, Love him. Um, um, what's his name? You know, Tommy Davidson. But Tommy Davidson is, is funny as hell, but he's not very personable. And Howard <laughs> not very personable either. I like, don't know. I think you can tell. one of my guests now. Well, you know what? It's okay because uh, he's not he's not changing anything for the coronavirus right now. So he's just gonna <laughs> right now. He's yeah, just I, as personable as anybody Howie else Howie at this Mandel moment. Right now. Oh my gosh, Howie Mandel! You know, we, we doesn't want to shake someone's hand. He doesn't shake Howie hands. Mandel probably in a freaking bubble right now, saying, "Should I go out? Deal or no deal?" No, <laughs> not, not See, yeah. I had I had a feeling he's probably at home just soaking it up. Like finally, people can't fucking touch me. Smelling his own farts right now. Like, how great is that? That like now, when someone goes to shake his hand, he's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's nothing personal. It's coronavirus." Yeah, coronavirus. Like that. I yeah. usually hit it off with every interview. I'm interviewing, <laughs> I'm interviewing freaking Howie Mandel, and I said, "What's your favorite pet?" He said, "Lice." What? One of my interviews, and I'm what? like, it's "Howie," and he's not even. Be, he's trying to be serious. I'm like, just to see if I fucking laugh. I'm like, come on, Howie. He's like, why the fuck am I on your show? I just was on all these major ones. I'm only doing TV, and NBC sticks me with a fucking radio show after. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
that's what I'm thinking. Your, your interview's over, Howie. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Howie's like, I'm gonna here's some hand sanitizer. Asshole named Neil Haley. What the hell? But see, that's what I learned in a lot of ways. Is you know, The Rock wore my knee pads, so I brushed with greatness. And then The Rock was, Rock was all cool when I met him, but he's an absolute asshole when I did TV in Omaha, Nebraska, where I was having wow. a job for the WWE. Really? Yeah. And he was in jerk. Jamie and Wolfie were cool as shit. Okay, I was wrestling the Nation of Dominic. My biggest match, even though I was a squash match, I got a little heat, was against Crush and Savio Vega in the Nation of Domination. Who remembers that? Before when Rock was part of the Nation of Domination. Was it Farouk? That was Farouk like, and all that. Yeah. So, okay, so I vaguely Crush remember and that. Savio yeah. Vega, and then Jamie and Wolfie, who I was good, I was tight with because I worked down south with both of them. They were in the back. So basically, I'm wrestling Crush and Savia Vega. I get a couple of heat on frigging Crush, hit him with a couple shots. And if you watch the TV match, even though it's not a fucking... I had it on YouTube and fucking WWE took it down, you assholes. <laughs> Tell him. Are you gosh darn kidding me? Tell the white man. No, so someday I'm going to have a problem. I have never lived in McMahon. When Vince and I get on a freaking interview, I'm going to say, Vince, you got to put that fucking interview, that great wrestling show up. That's the best match ever in WWE history. So I get a couple of heat on freaking soft, a crush. Crush gives me this belly-to-back suplex, and oh, my God, the ring is concrete in the WWE. He gives me this belly-to-back suplex. Boom, I go down. I'm like, oh, fuck, Ben. Friggin' Stavio chops the shit out of me. Then they throw me outside, and fucking Wolfie and Jamie are fuck with me. Ha ha, fucking giant. What do you think of that giant, you motherfucker? That's what they're telling me <laughs> down there. They were just jacking me off, Jamie and Wolfie, and then they throw me back fucking in the ring. Then I didn't do the job, so I got heat. Didn't do the job. My friend Derek Stone did, and it was over. Lawler's told me, yeah, we really like you because I was, I was tight with Lawler. Working Some Lawler. Down south, and I'm like, am I going to get signed? But there's too many damn big guys in the business So at that point. But then I, that's when I went to Germany. But I, I just have that story because this is it, brushing with greatness. Okay, you met Shawn Michaels. Who's the biggest name you've met? Me? Yeah, uh, you. I've met Shaq. I've met Royce the Five Nine rapper. I've met, uh, shit, I've met. Quite a few famous people, honestly. Me, yeah, you yeah, me, you. Oh, did they? You tell me when you bartend, they come to your clubs? Uh, actually, no. Uh, when I uh, when I worked for Harley Davidson Orlando, I met Shaq because he came in looking for a pair of sunglasses. So I talked to him for like 20, 30 minutes. Um, I've met Steve. I met Stephen King in a grocery right store. After he got hit by the car, I just happened to be in a grocery store that he was in, and I was like. I, literally, I, so I was bad. literally standing right behind him, and like as soon as he left, the lady, the cashier lady, was like, "Do you have any idea who that was?" I was like, "Nope, just kind of want to buy this six pack of Mountain Dew." <laughs> She's like, "That was Stephen King." So I was like, "Oh shit!" So I ran out there and I was like, "Hey, Mr. King," and he, uh, talked to him for like 10, 15 minutes. I wonder what he really thinks cool about, about all he wasn't this like right now. Dick or anything? He didn't like brush me off or anything like that. Shaq was kind of a dick. He was like, "You got when the this goes viral someday, we're all fucked, right?" Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Shit on all these celebrities and all this stuff. You guys will become superstars, and they'll pull this out of the fucking Well, you know what? I will give them every opportunity to redeem themselves on my show if they're not <laughs> going to be a dick the second time. So, or everybody, you guys get a fucking following. I'll book. I guarantee they get a kick out of it. Some of these guys are great, and honestly, this is the time to talk to them. They have no one to talk to now. Ah, there's nothing going on. Right? Nothing. They don't have their fucking handlers. They don't have anybody. <clears throat> ah, they don't my have favorite, anybody. my favorite thing right now is that they're all going live on Instagram. They're just kind of like showing you, like, oh, we're quarantined just like you. Yeah, they have these like gigantic them. houses, and they have all these people working for them that they can't go to their families and shit like that. Do like, you think people this... had to like like let a couple like maids go because there was more than ten <laughs> people in the house? Like, do you think that was? Do you think that ever came across? Like, you know, some famous dudes sitting there like. I'm sorry, Juanita. We're gonna have to let you go. We know we're, <laughs> we're at 12 people in the house right now. Well, uh, we know Schwarzenegger I'll had to I'll do I'll that. To Hollywood said, you know, they're already Trump. Netflix gave money to those unpaid Hollywood workers now because they couldn't work because they're not shooting right now. I know some of them make money. No uh, make money. And here's my thing. Money, but I'm sure that be. Here's my thing. You're gonna donate. Yeah. Uh, for instance. I'm going to throw this out there. We talked about it before. Leonardo DiCaprio. You're going to throw like $6 million to help homeless animals. 
And I don't think I've seen anybody donate money towards surgical masks or anything like right now for anything that's going on. Now, Unless I haven't did. seen any of it. Well, be Pornhub did. Oh, well, well I mean... Pornhub, yeah. If there's anything they practice, <laughs> it's, it's safety. When, uh, you know we and did our part then. Pornhub. No, no, no. Just the, the, I, <coughs> sent me a press I only watch it for the articles. <laughs> I've said it before on here. I like a good story, especially when it comes to my porn. So, yeah, they do have coronavirus porn. Do yeah. I have to be the first person to say that right now? Like, is everyone hiding I know we, the fact? We we talked about it the other day. That's oh yeah, we did. As fuck. Like yeah. people basically. It's, yeah, it's still step family porn, but now they're stuck in the house together because of quarantine. Yeah, yeah. we're not even okay, kidding. Now this is legit. You guys about TikTok. What the fuck is that addiction? I have no idea. Not on it. We're not oh, gonna. Jesus. I don't know if we're gonna try. I don't. I, mean, I feel like that's. <laughs> we have. We our next guest tomorrow. He's like always on TikTok yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> I think you have to be like under thirty to understand it. I think that's how they made. No, that I tried. I I tried TikTok, just because I I'm on, I'm on Snapchat at Total Tutor. Go ahead. I haven't done. Haven't done Snapchat for a while. I'm I'm, dri I'm driving this big falling of young people. So when I get thousand, two thousand, three thousand views on my stories. Then I'll, hey, sponsors, come on now, young people, <laughs> or whatever. No, you know, but TikTok is addicting, man. I started watching all this shit and keep going, why are people liking this shit? What the fuck is this? And it, apparently you can watch it for as years. long as they're and then, and then, and then attention span. And chick decides I'm to get, uh, get going by dancing on TikTok, show my ass, with uh, but guess what? You gotta, And I'm like, oh, the fuck, they got all these viewers and do you know some of them are making 14 million a year on tiktok yes what the hell? yes it's just like it's just like any other it's just like uh instagram or anything My else as soon as, as soon as you get that many followers like people just start fucking paying you <laughs> I, I it's true i i don't understand tiktok i don't I, it's to me it's it's just it's another it's a shortened youtube it's yeah, it's that so it's or short YouTube, I don't it? know. It's it's definitely feeding into the stupidity that's already out there, like that ignorance. Oh my god, it's, it totally is. What, what, what's you know what I mean? Like like you were know? saying, that like, is that is literally the length of any normal American's attention span is how long TikTok videos last. Because after I that, feeling all our information from TikTok. You know, but see, okay, <laughs> I've, I've heard that. I've heard that before, actually. Yeah, China. So basically, a lot of those apps that come out of other countries are supposedly like they're encrypted. Why can't, to, why can't Zuckerberg, that asshole, copy TikTok to get them out of the game, just like they did Snapchat? They created stories on Instagram, killed Snapchat, even though still young people are on it. But young people are on it just to hide, so they're talking to their friends with these damn streaks. Don't tell me about these streaks. My daughter does, and I'm like, what the hell are these streaks? Streaks. I don't even know what that I is. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm, what what I'm are the streaks? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, well, we don't work, we, have we don't work with a, a, a network. <laughs> um, I always thought Snapchat was just so like people could cheat on their spouses and hide it from everybody else. <laughs> like that's all it's, I thought for, Snapchat I always was thought for. it was just so you could. I thought it was a place where you could like send a quick dick pic and nobody could like save it. Oh, jeez. Like, because, it's only you know, like Snapchat has become more of the young people communication. Yeah. So I they don't that. tap on their phone. But also, stories are big there. And, True. And, and the Snapchat filters are pretty good. I take some of those filters sometimes and put it on one of my clients, not my clients. One of the Are you a filter hoe? I work with. What's that? Are you a filter hoe? You use filters to make yourself look good to all the chicks? Is that it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what every chick I've ever known that uses that uses it for. That's, like, what, that's what this is on right now, actually. Yeah, it's I not a real that beard. Filter. That's just a gray beard filter. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, mean, give me one I can't believe I'm on this, but again, it's perfect because it's a Corona beard. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for, for sponsors for Corona, right? No, by there the way, go. I got a story about masks. You have to have a lime out of your mouth. I, I, got, I, I got a story about masks. One of my... Um, Part of my, my business partners in India, they hooked, hit me up last week, and he said this is urgent. I think it was last week. I'm like, on WhatsApp. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what's urgent? So I said, okay. I call him back four days later. Well, he has another business idea. I said, well, what happened to the one about um, cleaning supplies? Uh, we can't now, but we had an opportunity with masks. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> yeah, that would have been a great. I know that would have been a. See, I'm waiting for that big opportunity. 
That's all it takes is just one really big opportunity. I mean, fuck, if you would have been involved in some kind of like mass production of a surgical mask, you'd be a millionaire. Oh, God. Yeah, You're good to go. Yeah. Like, good to go. But again, maybe I just need to go viral on one of the social media channels. I don't know. But like you said, see, here's the thing. I'm looking forward. I'm going to sign up for TikTok so I can see your shit. That's just uh, you're oh, going to be the terrible. reason. Well, he did say terrible. he was going to be shaking his ass on there. You are the stuff, reason so. why I'm no, getting I TikTok now. <laughs> because I want to. I mean, okay. So let me define TikTok for you. I know how you get over. You guys, we're all too old for TikTok unless we do for stupid sure. shit. For sure. However, we can find a group of people like a bunch of comedians and say, "Hey, y'all, let's get over on TikTok." Then all thousand of you or two thousand of you start doing just comedian shit, right? I'm tell- giving you my tip on how to get over on TikTok. <laughs> you all connect each other and start liking each other's shit. Y'all, one of y'all go viral. Yeah. I said, yo, I had to talk like Texan. One of y'all go viral. No, <laughs> one, one, of go, one of you will go viral, and then guess what? Y'all, you guys will make Then you leave videos. everybody else fucking behind and move the fuck on up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just basically that's what it is. Is you have to you have to find your stream. There's different channels on TikTok. So really? the problem is they give you the most popular shit. You have to search for it. I found all that out after I became a fool and thought, hey, I'm just gonna go in there, do two fucking things and get thousands of people to watch me. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but there's like old guys like fifty five on TikTok over making money. Really? Here's the problem. You gotta produce the hell out of your videos. And guys, hey, you guys are video production superstars. Look into it. Try to do some comedy. Honestly, TikTok is a very is it's not gotten over yet. It's I still like this is like months. a it's like a free but business here, meeting. Um, I like it. How yeah. much time have you spent on TikTok, by the way, guys? I've, I've never even it. downloaded it. Not a clue. Not zero zero. Okay. If you guys like looking at hot chicks and dancing of uh, chicks dancing then you'll like TikTok. I'm telling you. I, I went to, I was talking to my wife. Show club at home. And I said, this is addicting. So I, de- da- I deleted the app. I said, I can't waste fucking time as an entrepreneur. Fuck no. If I'm spending four hours instead of doing shit just to say what? Oh, let me push the next button. TikTok's so addicting. Okay, next one. Next one. Next one. Social next media is just a, addicting in general. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter what it is anymore. It's well, there's that so certain fucking... amount of serotonin you get when somebody likes your shit or somebody pays attention to something you did. It's like the first time I went on stage and got laughs. You know what I mean? Like, it's something I made. Yeah. I'm up there, and then you get this you rush. Get, you get, you know your, I mean? sad, like, you get yeah. like, your thrill from it through yeah, everybody I, else. I get that. But, like, TikTok and, and any social media, it's always, like, a smaller amount. But it, it comes in and rushes sometimes, depending on what oh it is. Oh, my gosh. But here's the ones that get over. got to really. be trending. Unless you're a fool and luck out, it's really hot chicks, like 23 to 27. But then there's freaking 14-year-olds on, and you're like, okay, switch that, change. And that's the problem with this platform is you got 10-year-olds on TikTok, and, and then there's guys that are 40. It's like ridiculous. The platform is so screwed up because China doesn't give a fuck. It's just like and, chat roulette. But, but, yeah. but then I think they have subliminal messages. Watch the next video. <laughs> watch the next video. It's You're so easy. It. You're not you doing fools. anything. Let's let's make you dumb. As we gave you the virus, we gave you TikTok. <laughs> What's next? Now you have to be home the, all day long. <laughs> then in we're between, go in and kill your president, and then we're going <laughs> to rule the world, China. And all you guys will do is stare at TikTok and sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> you be careful because somebody could just take this clip out of YouTube and just have you saying that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, actually, you know, we 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 thought it was really weird because uh, back in what was it, August and September, when we were making fun of China, like we, we actually China. had like the first four episodes. We just went off on like how shitty China's been to like all their people and everything over there, and then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> not saying we caused it, but we sure as we fuck straight, probably didn't help. We were straight up calling the guy Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah. we I actually know. called to be banned. China. There was a hashtag fuck China, we were which was like 3.6 million hits a day. Oh my gosh, because, <laughs> of, because of the thing. But the TikTok guys, I just think that you guys could go viral by doing really just dumb, stupid shit. How many of you are Viners? 
ever into Vine. I remember Vine when it first came Vine, out, yeah, yeah, and I never really got into it. I would just I watch, watched the shit out of it. I would watch the stream of Vines on creative. YouTube. I think you could, this could be a creative outlet. I've I, I been saying we need to get on some kind of like doing like either audio skits or something like that. And Oh, it'd be funny. I mean, it's you watch, you'll say, these guys are damn freaking creative. But then there's a lot of sexual jokes in there, too, and you probably like that. But would you yeah, want your 10-year-old to be watching like this? like 90% of our no. shit. We can't so help it if kids listen to us, for sure. Yeah, we definitely click the not intended for anyone under 18 button. <laughs> Purposely. Yeah, yeah. We do that shit on purpose. Take freaking 16 million, and then YouTube got pissed. All right, so here's, <laughs> um, so basically, last TikTok thing, we're ending the topic of TikTok. TikTok. Aww. We're getting saw, sucked okay, into TikTok. Uh, We're not even on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, it's because I'm, I'm a digital marketing expert. I got to learn certain platforms. Word, I word. can't be blind to assume brands are going to go on. Did, did you know that uh, th um, that Little Caesars commercial? They went and had influencers on TikTok do the sliced bread deal with the ding, the ding dong, and they paid them X amount of money to get Little Caesars and hashtag Little Caesars. An influence you got X amount of money from Little Caesars, and they got more more views than they did in the Super Bowl. So this is the what? bullshit type of stuff that are out there. Yeah, really? Kind of thing. Yeah, that's mind blowing. It is mind blowing. It truly is. But again, we sound like old people, like just like twenty years ago, that were just like, I can't believe they're just yeah, turning on I their know. computers. I, know. I never thought I'd get to that age where I was like, I just don't understand kids. But I got to that. We're age. We're getting to that now with this TikTok shit and like watching other people play with toys right. on YouTube. Like, why oh don't you just yeah, play I, with have a, I have a, I have a three year old daughter. One of her favorite things is watching that Ryan's fucking review, toy review. Oh, like you know, eight million dollars a year. Yeah, but that's bullshit. <laughs> You're telling me that those sponsors, because I look at the sponsor, right? Right. Okay, I'm a corporate sponsor, and I'm letting three-year-olds watch my videos, and I'm sure they're going out and buying my shit. No, they're not. No, they're just watching the videos. Huh? They're just, my daughter just watches the videos. She could care less about a toy if it's exactly. in front of her when that's so on. What the hell is YouTube paying these people for? Are they for, for views? Which doesn't make any sense to me. Doing YouTube's like, thank you, because the, the numbers, we can charge this. Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? I mean, seriously. And this so, is the first time ever, guys, too, that ratings were just like out the open. Money. Okay, so let me give you a tip for your podcast. You can right. start making money once you do about 10,000 downloads a show. You'll start making money. 10,000 downloads a show, you start making money. And you basically are going to have to get niche stuff. I'm giving you tips from one of the courses I took, but it's common sense. Right. Comedy clubs will sponsor you. Different people will sponsor your ass. You do them live, you'll make some good bucks. And you can make a living out of it. Well, look, say, look at this guy today. Serving again. Uh, we are sponsored by Manscaped, by the way. So if you want good smelling balls, <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you click that link. Well, yeah. Oh, and promo code. Maps. Maps for 20% off. 20% off. We didn't have, have to do it now, there. but I like it. I like I, well, it. Well, I mean, you pointed plugging. at my shirt, and I just Shameless read what plugging. it said. <laughs> so are you really sponsored by them, or you came up with that? No, no we really no, we are. are. We yeah. Are. They sent us the goods the other day. <laughs> Our balls smell amazing. Amazing. We've yeah. actually been complimented on it a few times now. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Strangely enough. <laughs> what a weird time for, for, for yeah, getting that. Yeah, we went that from, time. like, TikTok to... Well, no, I mean, what a weird... Manscaped. Manscaped. So, well, let's let's I talk about balls. I sports show. I mean, yeah. can you imagine just, you know, someone listening with your kids in the car, you know, driving <laughs> the sports, and a Manscaped commercial comes on. Right. What's that, Daddy? It's uh, for uh, something uh, for your balls. <laughs> yeah, your balls, balls will thank you. That's literally it's what for, the shirt your, says. So for your whole Manscaped thing. <laughs> it says your balls will thank you. Yeah. They're pretty that's, that's forward about it, and I think I think because they're they only do a few commercials, like they're not really yeah, too aggressive on their commercials. commercials. Now they probably went under because no one's manscaping right now, stuck at home. Oh, uh, dude, can you imagine that coronavirus beard? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> we're I mean, going back. Had the lawnmower after this no. after this thirty day mandatory thing, it's going to be like the seventies down there. Yeah, well, once they get that lawnmower three point oh, they'll yeah. be able to just take care of that right away. We went from like hairy bush nuns to no hairy bush nuns, back to hairy bush nuns. Like it's craziness. We'll see what porn okay, looks so like later on. What trends are we going to do now? 
Are we going to be worried about this virus? Here's the point. Let me give you another conspiracy theory. I would love we it. Were, we were, we're, we're more concerned about this than HIV, for gosh sake. HIV kills your ass, and it kills you and kills millions of people. But, oh, and a lot quicker. No, but this yeah. virus is going to kill someone. But if you wash your hands, <laughs> who doesn't freaking wash their hands? I, I, I mean, seriously. Maybe all, most people in New York City don't wash their hands. I, I'm not trying to be a jerk about this. But and we all know old folks' homes, they aren't clean at all thanks to the people who work in them. Yeah. Do you want to hear my conspiracy theory? Yeah. Let's, so let's have it. Let's have it. All right. All right. I, I did this the other day with the Time Traveler episode we did. So I honestly think... In a time of crisis, if the if the government and all that stuff is shut down because of this virus, they're not going to hold a presidential election. They're going to automatically give it to Trump. Yeah, we. Oh. we and then and then he's going to reign supreme for another four years, and then it's going to be and then it's going to be Kanye Trump twenty twenty four. I shit you not. No, it can't go that long. Uh, I then think it is. Trump, then Trump will make himself a dictator. And say, I just asked for another. I decided. Well, remember, he can serve two terms as a president. I'm a wartime president, and I decided that that four billion trillion dollars is not enough. So I asked Congress to write a bill for fifteen trillion dollars. We'll pay every American three million dollars a month to stay home, and you don't have to leave your house. You can. You still have people like, man, I got to get out of here. What? (laughs) You would still have people like, man, I gotta get the fuck out of this house. Uh, you, fuck the three we'll, million dollars we'll, right we'll now. Give, I just want to we'll get give, out. We'll give you an apprentice t shirt. And we'll make <laughs> watch, we can watch the best of the apprentice. And also, uh, you can get my Monopoly game and all those different things. And remember, my new book is coming out. <laughs> you can't get fired How when you're I working from home. It's staying in their house for two years. And I, I, I don't Joe know. Biden's dead. Sorry, I've, yeah, you know, we waited too long for the election. Joe Biden's dead, and Bernie, Bernie had another heart attack. So I'm but sorry. he's still going. So, he's still so going. Pocahontas has to run instead. Bernie but Sanders is like Betty White of the politicians. Like that dude's <laughs> just never gonna die. Like <laughs> Bernie Sanders is like that guy killed my gimmick. Well, I don't know what did I just do. I was the big socialist. Now Trump is. What's Trump doing? That's true. <laughs> He's what is he doing? So I'm Trump, telling you, dude. Trump, Trump eight so years, never, vice president four years. Conservatives and Republicans more say, "Yeah, send us money." I'm like, "We're gonna spend trillions of dollars. No big deal. We don't care." We're well, I mean, up. in all reality, wouldn't wouldn't the majority of that money go back to the government in taxes and everything else? You're gonna have to pay yeah, on the money. Taxes after you get the money. Yeah, and then yeah. on top of that, I mean, like. We might be fifteen million dollars in debt because of it, but like at least, Surely. at least, at, yeah, at least, at least ten percent of that's got to go back to the government in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, but it's it's obviously it's the interest where they're going to be making their little profit well, I mean, or whatever you money. Call. That's the fucked up part. Is interest is how we owe owe to them. That's how we become slaves to and them. See, but nah. Trump's an insider. You th- you think that Donald Jr. is not like okay, Dad? Okay, do I do I need to go call the Russians to make sure they sell my stock? Uh, I, I, I understand that. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure I go do that. And yes, I am running in 2024, and I'm ready to go. As a vice so, president for Kanye. I'm telling you, that's going to happen. Kanye's going to be a Republican? You're kidding me. He already is. Yeah, he's already there. He's a huge Trump supporter. Because he's getting paid. And he's already and he's already said, and he's already said last year, he said in an interview, in 2024, I'm running for president. And he's already cool with Donald Trump. So I have a feeling Donald Trump's going to serve eight years as president, four as vice, before he finally dies really, from hair from hair Trump coloring. He comes, acts like a socialist, kind of to bail out the country. That Joe Biden's going to come up with any kind of plan at all to beat Trump. That's yeah. that's my whole point. They're, they're, we're in a situation right now where basically you're it's either you got to write it out with who's, who who was going along with it because I feel like bringing somebody else new in just isn't going to be on anybody's plate. Yeah, you can't really switch. I think any, anybody who's like really looking at this is going, all right, well, I mean, he's already here and he's already dealt with it, so we're just going to roll with this guy. Yeah, but see, what Joe if, Biden, what if anyone in debate, could you see Donald Trump tear Joe Biden up in debate? Yeah. Yes. 
Joe, yeah, he's good um, at that though. Yo, he is. He was roasted on Comedy Central. He can handle it. So. <laughs> yeah, he can definitely dish it out. I mean, <clears throat> Biden tells us he visited some place he never was at. Trump will lie to your face. This is the greatest one. Uh, I, I'm ready. Easter Sunday. I think it's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna be there. It's everyone's gonna be at Easter Sunday mass, and we're all gonna be uh, Easter Sunday service. It's gonna be great. And then two seconds later, this is him on Fox, but it might not happen. <laughs> it's true though. God. That guy's just playing both sides of the cards here. He just he just know. Yes, this this way. He's a business guy. It's he's like a, a gag reel. So that way, when someone's like, "Well, he was wrong," he'd be like, "Yeah, but what about when no, I, I when I, when I this, changed I my mind and said something different?" You might not be right. And, yeah. You know, I, and then and then I I made it, and then and then Penn says Penn says if we all follow the rules to the law because he's really straight laced. And he's probably like, why did I become Donald Trump's vice president? There's no way I'm becoming president ever. Because they're going to look at me, what the hell? I was, I'm was, i like a clown. Yeah, and what did he do? That, he was just that, like the dude who stood in the background. He was like, he's that, like Donald Trump's posse. He does nothing for him other than <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Pen, but, Pence, but if you didn't watch the press conference, and I'm not mad at you if you didn't watch the press conference. You got Up until he comes on, yeah. You, you had prep work for me. I understand. That's more important. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Reality news or, or Neil? I mean, where did you want us to go with that? Yeah, I mean. I I heard Neil. Th- these right. daily press conferences lately have been the same thing over and over for a long time. No, they haven't. you got to listen. See, you guys are like, okay. I don't know. Local, maybe, local maybe. I think it's more or less the same. Because we're, we're thinking like, you know, the mayor and governor. No, I'm thinking. Always changed I'm truth. thinking Trump. Okay. Oh. Let me, so first time he's like, the coronavirus. The coronavirus, we're going to do this, this, and this. Then the markets tank. Okay. And then <laughs> he comes back. We're going to get back to work. Uh, I would, so some people are saying two or three months. I'm saying a week. We're going to go back to work. And so that's that's Trump. But here, here's the thing that's going to happen. My prediction. I I can't believe this. New York City. People ended up going to New Jersey from New York City. I told them to stay right there. They went to New Jersey. And then their sisters ended up going from New Jersey over to over to Pennsylvania, and now Pennsylvania's in trouble. And I'm finding out Philadelphia is in trouble. So we're going to close off the Northeast, and everyone that has less coronavirus, you can have your Easter Sunday. You can go and <laughs> open up. But you other guys, you're fucked up. You're shit out of luck. Is this going to shut off, like, districts and, like, areas of the, like, map? Is He's going to get that map that That's looks like the city sex too, predator man. thing where, like, this is where everyone has coronavirus. And he's like, West, West right, Virginia, let's move everyone West here. Virgi- so our whole state's not closed, by the way, guys. Pen- Allegheny County's closed, which is one of our counties near Pittsburgh. Right. And that's where Pittsburgh is. But guess what? You go to one of those hillbilly counties in Pennsylvania. Hey, do so whatever I'm here for business. What's this corona stuff? Hourly sale moonshine. What are you <laughs> talking about that? I mean, seriously, that's, that's, that's what's happening. I am hearing so, that there's still some of the smaller districts. <clears throat> there's small cities within oh, San you Antonio. Know you know what I mean? Like, they're still this. open. You must say, Texas is great. There's nothing wrong in Texas. I, that's what, There's a lot of areas in Texas that has no coronavirus. We're going to go and make sure research and say, why is this not happening? Maybe there's nothing else to do there. Maybe that's why. In and some areas, yeah, there's, there's nothing. I yeah, called, Ten I people a bar was kind of a norm. Oh, we got about 50 people in our school, and that's all we have in our uh, town right down the street, and we're about only a three-mile town. Well, those towns in Texas might not have coronavirus. Because These are also what? the same towns that believe the South won. So, normally, yeah. yeah. Normally. <laughs> so, like, you know, it could be a little... <laughs> they're just ignorant to the idea. Nobody's getting tested, so we don't know about any cases. And guess so. what I only think about San Antonio? The Alamo and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That's the only thing I think about San Antonio. The basement, the, the, the basement in Alamo, man. Pee-wee. That's are just real. Are you a fan of Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Of course, of course. It's oh, Pee Wee. Love. I'm a fan of anyone that will openly I, I, I masturbate in front of people. Yeah. Everyone needs to follow me. I saw a large march in the grocery store. My daughter's so pissed at me. I see. Oh my God, that's large fucking march. I didn't tell her that, but I'm not telling her. <laughs> so I filmed her on my freaking Snapchat. <clears throat> She's like, she knows you're filming, Kyle Neil. No, Daddy. I'm like, I'm not. No, she doesn't know. I'm just holding up my phone. 
Just you know, turn around and say, Large Marge sent you? Yes, Large Marge. <laughs> that was the best. But Pee Wee's Big Adventure uh, is just one of the greatest movies. I need to interview Paul Reiser. Who, doesn't? Paul Reiser? I, Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Let's see. I have wish lists. <laughs> I want to interview OJ. OJ, I'm asking That would right be good. Now, if I interviewed Michael Jackson's killer, you got to find that interview. Uh, um, I interviewed Michael Jackson's killer. Nice. He's okay. By the way, innocent. Uh, uh, <laughs> he didn't know seven. Doctor. He didn't know thirty-two pills was going to kill him. He just thought it was. You just party. You know, the whole story is pretty interesting. And so my team, when I had a team of people just promote my shit because I was friggin' ego maniac, they, <laughs> they friggin' my team started friggin' tweeting out Michael Jackson's followers and sending my interview. They're like, you, we hate you. Why are you tagging Michael Jackson for our interview? So the fans of Michael Jackson are saying, we're boycotting your show. I'm telling my my assistant, I'm like, I can care less. Hey, don't worry about it. There's plenty of 10-year-olds out there that appreciate what you did. Yeah. <laughs> There's a shit ton of them out there. Like, Thanks, so, man. And some of them the might be out. women. Yeah. Some of them might be girls. So. I doubt it. Yeah. That was Michael. <laughs> And I'm trying to think of the guy's name. That's my problem. Too many chair shots to the head. I'm trying to think of the guy's name. It'll come to me. Um, this guy, this guy's I'm, got CTE. I know. just love his wrestling like little sh- yeah. tidbits like, ah, too many chairs of the head. <laughs> too many chairs of the head. Can't remember his name. T- typical. <laughs> like, it's just like everyday shit. Like, you know, like yeah. me, I'm like, man, I tripped on the stairs again. He's like, I took a shot to the head with a chair. Exactly. That's my excuse. Yeah. Well, Neil. Uh, Did you see? I only saw part of Concussion. I got to watch the whole movie. Uh, but, <laughs> Are you sure that's not the only part you remember? That was the. <laughs> that's true. I heard if you fall asleep during the movie, you die. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that what happens with concussions? You can't sleep. Yeah. You'll die. No, I, but I, I, but I, you I, get I, so I, tired. I, it's so I, hard I, not I, to. I just forget people's names. And sometimes, okay. I, I, sometimes I don't remember where I'm at. Or no, I forget not directions. I forget people's names. Is that why but the interviews are only like ten minutes long? Or <laughs> <laughs> got to do because I'm a radio guy, man. I put all of them together to one show, so yeah. I have so I have a one hour show every day, and so I put together ten like three or four interviews, put it in a show, and send it to syndication. But I like then it. I still have to have it podcasted because yeah. that I was I was ashamed to call it a podcast at one point. Podcasts are cool now. But guess what? When someone says, "Hey, man, I got a podcast," I'm like, "Really?" And that what's that? I got a uh, what's that? Impress me? You have a podcast? And yeah. then, oh, but I see, I'm ranked 53rd in business development shows. That's great. Okay, how much fucking money are you making? That's what I want. To know. You are you are definitely a businessman. You definitely like, want to keep. Is that the bell? Am I out? No, uh, no that was my cat that <laughs> apparently wanted to go swimming in her water dish. See, that, we should have, we should have, we should have listened. We, we have to go back, isolate that, and use that. Nah. Why? I don't know. I'm sure we can. Okay, so guys, are you guys Rocky fans? I don't know how the hell I went to Rocky, but are you a Rocky fan? I am a Sylvester Stallone fan, unless it's one of those movies where all the washed up people. You know, the, they're like a The hundred. Extendables? Yeah, The Extendables. Yeah. Is it Extendables? What do you, what do you no. Think of the oh. new, what do you think of the new, uh, uh, the new Rocky series? The new ones? With, oh, uh, you're talking about Creed? Yeah. Yeah, I love them. They're good. They're great movies. Actually a fan. Why do you I really like them? Of, Michael um, B. So Jordan I'm, is I'm the is the man. So you don't get pissed off. I always name drop every show you watch, guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. <laughs> but but uh, I interviewed, I've interviewed, I've interviewed, um, um, Yvonne Drago, who which is uh, Dolph Ooh, Lundgren. I've yeah, Dolph. dude, Universal That's, Soldier. Yes, and also interviewed for the new show, uh, The Bone Collector, the star of The Bone Collector. Uh, the, the he play he was in the Second Creed as the manager. Of, I remember of, Dra- of, yeah. Dra- of Drago's son. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's really good. He's a he's a, he's a great actor. That was a great a premise great for that second movie, though. Yeah, it was. Drago's son. Yeah, I I love I love Creed. Have you watched oh. the new Bone Collector show on NBC? I haven't. No. I'm a shameless club. Thank you, NBC. Love you, NBC. Shout Every out, NBC. NBC. Call me. Yeah. I'm waiting for ABC interviews again. I gotta <laughs> hire this one guy to get me all the interviews of you guys. 
Hook me up, ABC. Come on, Disney. Yeah, <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, you know, NBC, I'm just dealing stuff with NBC. I'm waiting for it. You, ABC. <clears throat> uh, what about you, CBS? Anyone, uh, really? Like TBS Fox? or uh, any public access channels Fox out there? Technically, the top, Fox is technically Disney now, so, I mean, you're kind of killing I'm two birds by saying Disney. There what you are go. you guys streaming right now? There was this, okay, this was a great show I was on, but they've still not launched my freaking show. That's my biggest gripe. You guys are like, ah, we're not going to release this for a while. He's No, that's my whole thing. I do interviews and they never release. But I know, this will air tomorrow. Yeah. Binge. I did a show called What's Your Effing Binge, and I was binge watching Suits at that point. And Suits was good show. Meghan Markle was in Suits. Did you guys ever watch Suits? That was a very that's good it. show. I haven't seen it, no. It's a good show. That's yeah. a hell of a show. That Have you seen that new one that stuff. everyone's crazy about? That but tiger. I think, if you put, I think you put suits on right now, and just imagine if New York was shut down. What would what would the main character think right there? He'd say, "Fuck this, we're not going anywhere." You no. go and get well, what's his name that played? But what's his name? Oh my gosh! Tell me the name <laughs> of the guy who was the main character in Suits. Uh, it was the badass lawyer. Uh, I'll Google it. Yeah. I don't have my phone. Uh, we can move on. We'll move on. Okay, move on. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we can oh, just move also, on. Also, did you guys see White Collar? That's another damn good show. I've no. Uh, I, I've watched like an episode or two, but I, I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it was just because of the oh, timing of me that. watching I, it. I, I, that show's awesome. I went through all the way. And I'm just a big fan of Tiff, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. She's awesome because I'm a big Saved by the Bell fan. Definitely one of my first crushes. That's like the so. first crush right there. Exactly. Topanga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a crush of mine, too. Yeah. That and the Pink yeah, Ranger from Power I Rangers. I Mr. Feeney. He's not dead yet, but I've interviewed Mr. Feeney. Yet. I like it. All right. Coronavirus, okay. you think? Or... No. <laughs> I'll have to release his interview. Dead or not dead. No, we're yeah. not going to get that. But I'm binging right now, Heroes, because I'm a huge fan of Heroes. Love Dude. that. Love Heroes. I love heroes. that you have no problem the going The remake, though, someone. was a little... Uh, much. Oh, the remake's not good, but I have no. to, I'm, on, I'm on season three again. IMDb Hayden Panettiere. gives everything mm. free. If you have Amazon, IMDb TV's free. And oh, yeah. There's a lot of good shit on there, and that's what I, I love Heroes. Right Hero I lost my from Heroes Madden. is the band. Yeah. The time yes. traveler. Yeah. He's the oh, shit. Oh, Hero of Nakamura. Hero, yeah, dude. Hero was the man. The tour, especially towards the end when he got the sword. Yes. Cla- oh, a little, he, he little racist. Like, yeah, <laughs> Asian guy gets the Tyler's sword. Tyler's the badass heel. What yeah. Freaking awesome. I, I interviewed Zach with Quinto. Awesome. I got so frustrated watching that show the first time around because I was like, is he the bad guy? Why is he the good guy now? Why is he the bad guy now? Yeah. Why is he the good yeah. guy now? This is like He just goes back and forth, man. Whatever suits his needs. It's just like a real superhero would be. It's just like my, my dad all over. Four grand glasses is one of the best heels in the world. The guy from the company. Um, what's his name? Um, yes. Seth, Mr. Bennett. Is just Mr. Funny. Bennett. He's, he is He is someone you don't want to walk in a dark alley with. That's for sure. No, that so dude captured heroes. About, <laughs> I told you about all these. I waste my time streaming stuff all day. I'm missing heroes right now by doing this interview. Oh, well, I've been so, streaming Married with Children again. <laughs> married with Children. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That's a classic. Wrong with that. No. Uh, hey. What was the other thing that we. Oh, The Witcher. The Witcher was amazing. Yeah. Totally dug that. Did you watch The Witcher? You yeah. gotta watch. You never watch The Witcher on Netflix? Man, you gotta watch that. You gotta watch. Witcher. Hell yeah, it's a damn good show. And that chick uh, on there, I don't remember her name. Uh, it's hard to say. Who cares? It she's really is gorgeous. hard to say though. Yeah, she's gorgeous. You get to see her boobs. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Uh, what What did we just finish watching that we absolutely loved? Jay and Silent Bob remake. No, 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 no. There was a series that we started watching that we were like, "Fuck, man, it's over." Oh, Dave. Dave. Dave on FX. Uh, Dave on FX. That shit's funny. No, I've not seen Dave. No, oh, you got to watch that. That's pretty funny. It's uh, Little Dickie's story. The there are, yeah, I, there I don't is. I know what I'm going to binge after Heroes is over again. And I'm you get that. watching more <laughs> NBC shows. I like the, the airplane one. What's it called with the with the missing airplane? <coughs> oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, you know the one that came back. Oh, it'll come to me in a minute. But I've interviewed all the people on the show. That's why I want to watch it. Have watching. you have you been scanned for CTE or? <laughs> oh, oh, those fucking it's never too late. I, so I interview about seven or eight people a week. Would you remember that, guys? If you're interviewing all those, I don't remember what I did yesterday, and I was alone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so no, I'll remember you though. 
<laughs> You're the talking head. <laughs> You're the floating head on our fa- on our uh, page. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. You'll use that from now and say, "Here's a guy that thinks he's cool." This is this is Neil the floating head. <laughs> Neil the floating head. It's okay. You won't be the only one with the quarantine going on. Everybody's going to be pretty much on the screen until it's over. So. Until it's over. All right, so when's it going to be over? Prediction. Uh, Shit, I was hoping it was over last week. (laughs) But if I'm doing a realistic projection, I'm going to say probably the end of April is what I'm thinking. I have a feeling they're going to drag this shit out until they get the New World Order in, in place, and then we're all fucked. Yeah. Well, however long it takes for cryptocurrency to take over as the dominant currency, that's when this is over. Yeah. Uh, are you guys investing in quick cryptocurrency? I have about forty dollars. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be about forty thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's once, gross. once the the universal currency goes to Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm not invested, but I believe that's that's my conspiracy theory. Is I believe that's what's that's what's gonna fix it all. All of a sudden, people are gonna be like coronavirus. What about it? Yeah. We're we're just gonna forget, like we forget everything else. Oh, man, I wish I had you on last week when we were talking time traveler and shit like that. That was crazy. Some of these time traveler guys are... Uh, on point. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty scary with, like, their, their I guess, what they, what they divulge to the, to the people that they're allowed to. As you know, there's guidelines of them coming back in time. They, they can't <laughs> actually... It's like Terminator and Back to the Future rules. You can't interfere too much with the past. Right. Exactly, and that yeah. goes back to Hiro Nakamura when he yeah. tried to. Exactly. Peter, Peter Petrali, and yep. how he would do, you know, and <laughs> so... Since we're uh, in an episode of Heroes right now. Because it like. we keep going back to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> no, did you what like, happened to that did you like that Lost? Show? She ended up having a show on Nashville, but she never got anything big after that. She had the show on Nashville after She, she, she married it. someone famous, and then it was all over then. Really? Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't have to so, work yeah. anymore. She probably oh, she will find something. And she's like, and she's like four three. So. She's probably doing in the yeah, she like Super, like super small. That. Yeah, she seems very small. She's like Danica, Danica Kirkpatrick, the race car driver, mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers, Chica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's only like four nine. She's like super small. I didn't know that. Yeah, I no seen, her, I seen her when she used to still race Indianapolis, dude. She like literally was like damn near to my belly button. She's wow. tiny. That's why she's so good at racing. She wasn't. She'd probably though. do horses. No, she wasn't. She was not a good answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you ever watch Lost? No, but I interviewed the guy uh, that's the star of. You know, he'll come to the name. My, his name will come to me in a second. But I never watched Lost. Right. The guy oh, you was a big villain at the end. Who uh, from Lost ended up be, is the big star of one of my favorite shows, and I can't think of the damn name. Blacklist. Now the guy from Blacklist. Yeah. And yeah, I, I saw that you did interview him. I was going through your 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 podcast. Blacklist is my shit. Blacklist is dope. Blacklist is my shit. Oh, James Spader. Blacklist, but James you know, Spader is like one of my favorite actors ever. I, I, again, there's so many people I'd love to interview, and so I needed someone like so we got to get them on different. You guys get going. You could just start getting people comedians to start really cracking up. When they interview and just start swearing, these comedians love to go and swear on podcasts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, people like, don't have to hold back. People like to let loose whenever they're on a situation like that. Yeah, like, I'm in deep trouble when you put my name out there, and then people are saying, "This guy's straight laced. What is he swearing for?" Making <laughs> comments like this, I never. Saw it's okay. This, we so we tend to bring out the worst in people. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. kind of like it's kind yeah, of our niche. All you're doing is set me up. And say, yeah. Okay, we started out with nice, cool shit. Then I get them all straight laced, and then I say something crazy. See, we call it we call it our podcast, but really it's just shit to blackmail. People we're here, with we're later. here, yeah, we're here yeah. to blackmail people and end careers. Yeah. That's what we're okay. <laughs> How many shows have you guys done so far? This is this will be episode forty-two. So we've been doing it for six months. Okay. And how many, how many shows do you do a week? Uh, Regularly two. two, but since we're quarantined, like seventy-two. Um, no, we're we're we. We're and how still... did you come up with your name for the show? <laughs> uh, it we, just fell in our laps. We just thought of something that would be funny and catchy. So definitely something that's going to get someone's attention, and I think it works. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the morning after pill show. Yeah, it's funny because some people think that it's we're just going to talk contraceptives, but it's really not the thing. No. Although our podcast will stop you from wanting to have sex, but so what is your 
It's what definitely worse for me. Uh, what, 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 you're under comedy? Yes. Yeah. In, on, on, uh, uh, it's comedy uh, it, comedy and improv. Yeah. We, we are balanced in between the two for some reason. I don't know why. We don't make those rules. We just no uh, follow them. Yeah, we're under comedy and then like the subcategory is improv, like improvisational. And I guess that's because we don't have a script. We're not like... We don't have any base topics for anything like that. We just have the I ability heard Mike to Tyson's go. Podcast is, there's no friggin' rhyme or reason to it at all, as well. So, well, that's. Have you ever seen his documentary? No. God, it's horrible. Like it's oh. it. It hurts the brain because you're kind of like I don't know if I'm learning I, anything I'm about him. On, I want to interview Mike Tyson so about me uh, too. Yeah, I that want to get great. punched by him. I think that would be great. <laughs> No, you'll have that for fucking ever. You're never going to forget getting punched by... Like, if you punched me, like, three years from now, I'd be like, you punched me? Yeah. Mike Tyson hits you? That's always going to be... You're still going to feel it. You love the hangover, then, if you, like, if you think Mike Tyson to punch you, right? Have yeah. you seen his... Have you seen his uh, his cartoon show that he has on Adult Swim? It's funny. It's, it's, it's actually hilarious. really funny. And, and they, they make fun of him on the show, and he's totally cool with it, and he goes along right with it. Maybe he has CTE, that's why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as, long as, as long as it's making me laugh, that's fine. I don't know. I feel like he might be prone to it for a couple reasons. <laughs> One, he probably wasn't getting hit as much as some of the other boxers. Oh, he was knocking people the fuck out. I yeah, think, he was knocking the majority people of his the career. Fuck yeah. Out. God. And then two, maybe there's not much to break up there. So who knows? Uh, no one has <laughs> no one has hit him hard enough to stop his lisp. That's all I know. It's okay. He's trying. He's trying to get this guy. Let's not. Well, I mean, let's not ruin his chances. No, 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 no we love you, Mike. I've said, certain, I've said certain things on certain shows that would get me in so much trouble. Right. When I'm talking education when I'm more straight laced, not like when I interview people, like where I talk about, you know, specifically ripping teachers apart or ripping or, 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 or ripping or, or my impersonation of. Uh, Trump? Nancy, not Nancy Pelosi, a Pocahontas. <laughs> uh, what's her name? The one that, oh gosh, you know the one that was going to run for president. And she's oh, a a AOC or whatever? I know her. I heard no, it. no. Uh, and I did an impersonation of her and they loved it. Uh, I forget. But I've gone, I've gone off the rails on education talk shows because I get mad when I see things about, I mean, this, this whole teaching thing. These teachers are like, okay, guys, I want you to teach a whole le day's worth of lessons and we're not going to show you anything. We're just going to send you a lesson plan, and you're going to teach it at home. Then give me your fucking check, then. That's my <laughs> That's like me just you know, going to work, and when someone's like, hey, man, can you make me a drink? I'll just put all bottles in front of them and be like, all right, you make it, man. And the recipe. Exactly. Don't forget hey, the recipe. Hey, I mean, I'm a teacher, don't forget the tip. Teacher. But fuck you, then give us the check. Do you feel that way when you go to the self-checkout? I don't use self checkout. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That's the bullshit. All that my my daughter keeps saying, go to self checkout. I don't want to go to self checkout. I'd like to have those couple minutes to wait to I go want, on my phone. I'm not bagging those no fucking groceries. Self checkout too much work. This guy goes there all the time. He's always using self checkout. I I did because I buy like four things. I don't like panic buy an entire fucking grocery cart full of nonsense. Yeah. Well, well, what about it when it fucks up and then you self checkout? Then the person's like. Okay, sir, let me make sure I can fix that for you. <laughs> I hate when that little light goes off and you have to wait. Because their oh, their back is always fucking turned to you, too. It's never like, they're never like really paying attention to like any of the little lights above the self checkout lanes. They're always like wandering off or like staring off into space, wishing they weren't at work at that moment. <laughs> then so as soon as the light goes off, you stand there for like two seconds and you're like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And then so you have I'm that sure bouncer. Late, late night trips to Walmart. You're pissed off there's no late night trips yeah. to Walmart. Yeah. Then you have that bouncer, that like 75-year-old lady oh, that checks, that checks your bag. It, after you just went to the self-checkout, it was like, well, if you guys had more I cashiers. See I see the cat. The cat's on the TV show. There he is. Oh, that's that's the littler one. The other one usually puts his ass, uh, puts his ass right in front of the screen. Oh yeah, first YouTube episode, his asshole was like two it's minutes, like a in. third of the entire show. <laughs> He's a YouTube star. Yeah, a uh, chocolate star. Well, Neil, uh, our time has come to an end. We we tend to do about an hour, or so I think we did a little more than that. Which I appreciate your time. It's amazing. Uh, 
you are not what I expected. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking tell you that right now. I, you're not what I expected. You're you're a pretty down to earth guy, and I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate the knowledge that you shared with us while we're doing this show with you today. Uh, you gave us I know you gave us some pretty good ideas and things to look forward to and things to implement into what we do in our show. Right. Uh, I, I'd love to. I'd love to continue our relationship with maybe going back and forth with more interviews and bullshitting whenever come you back the time or anything like that. When you don't have a guest, bring me on. I'll come <laughs> Fuck yeah! And I'll show you my scary basement next time. Cause yes, sake, yes, please. If watch that. If people watch that shit, because I'm sure at time guests no show your ass. Right? Just do I'm me. A, just do me a favor and just hang a couple chains in the background so that way it just looks <laughs> super realistic. Make it worse. Yeah. Make it look worse. Just play Halloween screaming soundtracks in the background. Be like, ignore that. Broken mannequin parts in the background. Yeah. Ask me yeah, what size my so skin is or something. Are next thing, and we're doing a show every day now because <laughs> we ain't working. But guys, yeah. okay. So you say, all right, get your cash apps out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get okay now. Hit hit us up on cat. That's what you guys got to do. We need. We're struggling. Well, you guys need donations. Yeah. So donations, donations. We have a pay donation page, right actually. We have a donation page. A work. You were entertained by their, their work pay -out. Listen to this fucking guy. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Listen to this guy. If you go to the morningafterpillshow.com, there is a donation page. We would appreciate Absolutely. That. Yeah. Look you at that. So don't donate to freaking... Uh, I don't even know. Donate to these guys. These poor guys yeah. are out what, of work. What could you possibly deal with? What, what can you even donate to right now? Like Red Cross ain't fucking helping anybody. I like, haven't nothing, seen anything from nothing, Red Cross. There is no donation. Like usually if something happens, they're like donate to this this thing right here. Like Tiffany fell down and scraped her knee. Donate. But like 90% of like 90% nine, of the service industry is out and you just hear like, oh, there's a bartender's guild. That stripper that fell on her face made like fucking $33,000 $33,000 for... $33, Literally falling on her face. I will record myself falling off of every staircase we're going out <laughs> for <laughs> fucking you guys five thousand. Start getting on TikTok, doing stupid ass shit. <laughs> there you go. With your cat, with your damn cat, <laughs> 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 and it go viral. <laughs> it can happen. It's it takes it takes the dumbest, most simplest thing. Sometimes. It really does. Don't download TikTok today. But honestly, guys, I think that, you, again, you have a great comedy podcast. Appreciate it being on. But remember, yeah. when guests cancel you because you find assholes off the freaking Facebook page, yeah, I've been on many shows. Yeah. 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 They, they say, you know, I'll be on your show. Oh, you guys probably put something out. I'm a self-help guru. I've been <laughs> bringing for your show. Or, you actually, we have received I a couple of those, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur with great ideas. I don't even know what kind of guests... That dude had like that guy had like 200 followers, so we were like, no. A lot of it is scams too, though. A lot of them are just trying that to clickbait and bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's just, they're it's, misspelling words and stuff like that. And they're like, my name's Kelly. I'm from what website India. Are you on? This is what's sent to us. <laughs> this is what's sent to us. It's it comes to us in our these DMs. are unsolicited dick pics of idiots. But no, but of the funny business. thing about it is. You know, when you see these scams and say, I can make you lots of money, who the hell are you? My favorite is when they're like, man, I can get you a bunch of followers with my bot. And I'm like, but that's not like the thing that I'm looking for. Like, I, I would rather do it organically for one. Yeah. And two, we don't need your help. Yeah. If, we, if I wanted their help, I would have gone to them. I would have yeah. gone to you, Neil. But see, you, they, you do need to go to me, but that's the <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be your agent at one point in time. And we're going to party in Houston next year. It's a day yes. with Lensec. Let's hope the company, we got to make sure they don't lay me off. Nah. Uh, we're coming to Houston. We're partying in Houston. We're we won't talk sure about how much cocaine Houston. was done. See, again. We have a big, big event in Houston, Texas. Not, not at December, all what I was whatever. expecting. Yeah. Not at all what I was expecting. Here's what we're I'm not going party. today. We were supposed to get a vet. Honestly, last point. And I was supposed to go to Vegas last week for the convent, the uh, ISC West, and we didn't cancel a week later, and before that event, and then everything fucking went to shit, and now yeah. everything's getting canceled. Yeah, oh, yeah, everything. Right now, I've lost. At this point, I've lost two shows. I have a, supposed to have another one on the fourth. Gone. Not, I'm not even asking. I'm not even yeah. asking. I'm just. Riding it out right now. I'm writing, so we'll give it that. Well, but, but dude, they still could do the show. There's only gonna be eight people there. 
<laughs> you it's <know>? non-essential. <laughs> Trust me. I don't me. know. You need to hear my jokes. You'll know they're non-essential. <laughs> That's the best part so about them. Need guys it. Guys, gotta go and say, find my friend Marcial that works for Lensec. He's in San Antonio. <laughs> Just say Marcial. I'm sure there's a ton of Marcials. I think there's like three at most. Is <laughs> honestly, it's not that common of a name here. Tell, I'm gonna tell them, Marcial. Are you in San Antonio? Because we went out one time and we were uh, we were partying. <laughs> it was boring. Where we're staying sucks, man. I want to go to fucking the, the 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 hot spots in Houston. Last story. I'm freaking on on my my friend who's a publicist, pretty popular. He goes to these huge clubs. He he's he hobnobs with the big celebrities, and I'm like, dude, I want to go to the club with you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna be there for a certain amount of minutes. I'm waiting in my hotel room. I'm waiting in my hotel room. The motherfucker doesn't fucking text me back. I'm like, I'm ready to take my Uber to the freaking this nice club in Houston. No deal. Really? Come on, man. I What's, hate people that bail. Yeah, exactly. But, I no but I love bailing, oh, yeah. though. I love it. Feels it feels good to do it. It yeah. sucks to have it done to you. It's, so it sucks that I haven't been able to do it. You guys got to kick me off because you're like, <laughs> did you, what did you think I was going to be like? You think I wanted to be uh, straight-laced? No, I mean, I, 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 to honestly, I, I, the people that we have had on our, on our show so far have like been people that we know personally. And we've met doing what we do. So we've met them outside of the show. So we've had time to like interact and like – we, we kind of learn what type of person they are in that short amount of time as much as possible. Um, never met you before, never spoke to you before until literally you answered your phone. So we just it's it's always up in the air when it comes to anything. Plus, I mean, like like you said, you're a guy with a thousand hats. So I didn't know if you were going to be more of like a business esque, like straight laced kind of guy, like down to the point. Um, we were hoping I'm you weren't going to be. I'm everything to everybody, man. It's not about me. Yeah. You are a universal, Neil. Because I have to be. Because, I mean, I have clients of all walks of life. And NeilHaley.com. Neil Haley. You got, you're hitting them up with the cash app, but you need to hire me. Yeah. Because the bottom line in all this is I can go on any show and get over. And that's yeah. all it's all about. And and when and, and have a good conversation. And if you think you have a good podcast, you better figure out. There's a lot more growth to happen because you got to make money. If you're not making money in your podcast, you know, do it for fun. That's great. Don't think you're something till you're making money. Because when you're making a living at this and you're enjoying it and you're getting big guests and you're getting a good – get fans, then start coming to me. But these other guys are like, I got a podcast, blah, 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 blah. So like, I'm yeah, – when you Like you all 32 of my friends listen to it. <laughs> you, you, we'll see what they say. That fucker. <laughs> what the hell? He thinks he's fucking high and mighty. I ain't any high and mighty. I got a beard fucking big as hell. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening next? Are we going to be out of this Corona? Dead Corona getting is, 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 like great, is this the great Corona instead of the recession, the great recession? Yeah, that the great name. They called the great recession. There's no such thing as a great recession. But what the hell kind of? Yeah, what was so fucking great about it? Everyone was that, broke. That was just to elect Obama. The great recession was to elect Obama. So this is the elect Biden. But guess what? Biden's no Obama, right? I mean, seriously. It would be exciting to see one of those time travelers be proven wrong at this point. But right now, they're all looking pretty good. Yeah, they're all and looking they're all pretty, pretty fucking accurate right now. <laughs> well, so no, in Hero Season 2, <laughs> it's the yeah. virus. It yeah. was a virus, the Shanti virus. I took a picture of my story on Facebook. All of New York City, no one was there. If you look at the picture today in Times Square, the same fucking thing. That's scary. That's yeah. really. Scary. I hate when TV shows predict shit. Yeah, because you know, because you know, they were being completely hypothetical, and they're like, "This shit will never happen, but it's going to make for great TV." And then five years later, except The Simpsons, man, they predict everything. <laughs> You're the second talking head on our show. To, yeah, that's true, though. Yeah, those, well, we've come to the conclusion that Matt Groening's from the future. <laughs> or he's. Where is an alien? That's God right. damn it. Yeah, damn, we yeah, always count out aliens. aliens. Always. And they're laughing. Well, according to the time travelers, in 2028, we will be visited by... No, we'll be revealed. We, they will be revealed that they're interdimensional aliens. Who are the time travelers? Where are you getting that from? Watch <laughs> YouTube, man. Probably, YouTube, the probably rabbit hole. The aliens. We're not giving aliens enough credit right now. We're not. I feel like we kind of overshot the aliens. Maybe this is their <laughs> virus. Yeah. Uh, so well, you need to have Don Zeno from Montreal on, who's a, who 
he is a he's a huge ufologist. He's not a ufologist, but he loves ufologists. He would be funny because he truly believes in aliens. And, but he speaks three different languages, and he would swear at you, and he'd have fun, and he'd, he'd say, you motherfuckers, but he wouldn't stay up this way to do it. It's so funny. He'd do it in three different fucking languages. Oh, well, you're, you're on, yeah, you're right. You're on East, you're on East Coast time, huh? What time is it over oh, there? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm crying. He's an hour ahead. He's an hour ahead. I got, I got all my posts done for tonight. Didn't get to <laughs> my show that goes out tomorrow. I'll get up early. Uh, you guys exhaust me because I had to talk for an hour and a half, but I enjoyed it. Hell yeah. Well, yeah we appreciate it. it. The reason I came on your show, this is the honest to God reason, is to replace my client because I know my client. I talked to him. He's like, I, I, but I think Rob would do okay, but Rob is a very serious guy. I'll have to send you some of his stuff. All right. Google yeah. It's Rob Roselli, but he, he would give you some stories, and you wouldn't get a word in edge us, but you'd enjoy it. But you don't really – I was thinking – you guys would fucking go after people, but you don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just we, make little crack jokes, different yeah. things. I mean, we're not we're when we're doing our show together. Wes, I think when we're the most harsh, but when there's a guest on the show, we're we're pretty respectful of whatever yeah. they do. Even like when uh, our first our first guest was that wrestler that we know, like we you know. We we crack jokes about like you know how often did you guys pop a boner and stuff like that. But other than that, like we, we pretty much respected his guidelines and everything did. like that. That, that. That's really fucking gay, man. <laughs> yeah. I never did. Maybe the gay guys in the fucking business. There was a ton, man. Trust me. Really? I, I, well, you know, that's that's for another. That's for I'm. That's for the next time he replaces a guest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Neil, again, we we really, really, really appreciate. Uh, real quick, real us. quick, Neil, Neil, uh, did you wanna you wanna plug your show? Yeah. You wanna you wanna yeah, throw that okay. out there? We'll go, so your best things. Go more, you wanna plug it more? NeilHaley.com, my internet radio station, VIP Internet Radio.com. Follow me on all social sites. Just Google Neil Haley. Bottom line, you find me everywhere. I dominated every Neil Haley out there, and that's from years of just wasting my time. And there was a few other ones, yeah. Self promotion, but the thing that also is you can. If you're interested in building a brand, podcast, anything, contact me because truly I'll give you the time. And I'm not going to say, do my course for 397. <laughs> no, I'll Fucker. work with you and help you grow an audience. This is the biggest bullshit. Whenever I do a course for 397, it's going to be worth 397. Not, I'm going to give you the same shit I gave you for free and now it's 397. Yeah. That's the biggest bullshit thing. But again, <laughs> but thanks guys for being on. I'm a, Neil, you know, thank you I'm so much. Show. I'm a deep shit. Just because I spent an hour and a half with you guys, but I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I needed a fucking vet. And that's now, good. now I can put me on YouTube, Neil Haley, and say, That's the that he tutors my son and <laughs> Hey look, if they're listening to our podcast, that's the last thing they need to worry about. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys don't do good well with SEO. No one will find podcast anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, again, we appreciate it. We thank you so much. Get some rest, and we'll we'll talk to you soon. All right? You will be back. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. Adios. Bye. Well, there you have it. That was Neil Haley. Uh, funny as fuck. Yeah. I did not expect that. That guy was actually really cool. Um, don't forget to check us out, guys. MorningAfterPillShow dot com. Uh, follow us on all social media. The same thing as Neil. Um, Check us out, man. All right, guys. Fist me, bro. Fist me.